Welcome. Today I'd like to show you Intelligel Metropolis, complex multi-stage gate and CV sequencer. The Metropolis has a clock and reset input for external control and also a clock and sync output. It also has a clock divider with several options for incoming and outgoing clock signals. The sequencer has eight stages for CV notes. The pitch of each stage is set with a slider. In the menu you can determine the root note and select the scale out of over 20 variations. Pressing a button once activates a slide for a stage. Pressing it twice activates a skip. If you hold a button and then turn the encoder, you can also set ratcheting. Metropolis has a knob to set the gate time. Swing can be set in the menu. Now here are some special functions that allow you to create sequences longer than 8 steps and more complex. Pulse count determines how many repetitions or pulses will be played in a stage. Gate mode 
output gives you four options on the output of the pulses in each state. Either no pulses in a stage, only the first pulse in a stage, all pulses, or a hold over all pulses in a stage. In the menu, the number of active stages can be set. There is also a step divider that determines how many clock pulses come from a single gate. In this example we'll set the step divider to 2 and change the pulse count from 4 to 5. The play modes are the part that make the sequences really complex and playable. There are normal play modes and the same modes as fixed play modes. You can choose between forward, backward, ping pong, brownian and random. Brownian means there's a 50% chance for the sequencer to move forward and 25% chances that it stays or moves backward. In the fixed modes, the stage button sets the number of pulses, not stages played. That means the sequence will restart with the first pulse after it outputs the given number of pulses, no matter how many stages it ran through. The sequence will always be in time, even if the pulse count is altered while running. That's great for creating variations live in real time.
further modulation, the Metropolis offers two AUX inputs with attenuator knobs. You can address different modulation targets to which incoming voltages are added. For example, gate length, stages, step division, ratcheting, note, octave or quantization settings. All those tools make the Metropolis a highly live, playable sequencer, but also a creative source for semi-random generative sequencing. The module is easy to combine with other sequencers, delivers a stable clock and is very intuitive to control. A powerful and fun sequencer I can highly recommend. That's it for today. Thanks for your attention. Take care.